Sally Eslin, the founder of Over Empowered Clothing. I'm dedicated to empower women entrepreneurs by sharing tools, tips, and resources through leadership mindset and more on my show, Finding Your Way with Sally. And hello there. Yes. I'm Sally Eslin and uh, I'm content creator and founder of Empowered Clothing. I share authentic and everyday issues for women over 50. So you can learn more about my fashion products and services at empoweredclothing.com.au. So today we're talking about how to empower sensitive souls with Doctor of Light Medicine, Dr. Karen Can. So before I bring Dr. Karen up, I just thought I'd link it in today very much with um, my solar plexus uh, empowerment bamboo top because it's all about empowering women to be the best version of themselves and so you know the the tops that you can you can see here I'll show you in a second where are we they're so empowering it's linking into the solar plexus which is located just above your abdomen it's associated with the color yellow and with courage strength self-esteem confidence personal power and willpower and it links in with the tiger eye crystal because each of the tops comes with a little crystal which has a little pocket on the side and tiger eye is um you know assists in boosting self-confidence enhancing personal power and promoting a sense of courage and determination so all around today we're just all about uh, empowering sensitive souls so just before I bring up Dr. Karen, I'll read a little bit about her. Dr. Karen is a doctor of light medicine and a visionary in healing consciousness and spirituality. As a five times number one best-selling author and the star of the award-winning documentary, The Inside Effects, How the Body Heals Itself, and I highly encourage everyone to watch that because it's fantastic, uh, Dr. Karen is on a mission to empower sensitive souls to embrace their sensitivity as superpowers. Her true passion lies in guiding people to collectively illuminate the world, lifting it out of darkness and anchoring a new reality of heaven on earth. In her role as the founder of the Academy of Light Medicine, Dr. Karen teaches the transformative, transformative three-step Tolpican healing method where you align with divine wisdom, ask through divine muscle testing and activate high vibrational healing frequencies. Her work is like tapping um, tapping into a spiritual supercomputer. <laughs> I like that. Uh, much like the wise Yoda from Star Wars, she guides you to become a Jedi master in your self-healing journey. So without further ado, let's bring up the amazing and wonderful Dr. Karen Can. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Woohoo! <laughs> hey, Sally. Thanks for having me here. I'm super excited. And you look fantastic in oh, that solar yellow. plexus. <laughs> I'm feeling <laughs> very empowered today. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> so you nice. brought along an empowerment share today. And that uh, part of your journey is that you thought you were on a mission as a medical doctor helping people with chronic illness get better. But I, you were totally stressed out trying to be everything to everybody. You got chronic fatigue, depression and fibromyalgia, which uh, uh, was the exact catalyst that you needed to connect with spirit and your inner guidance so you could help more people. Do you want to speak to that? What a journey. What a journey. <laughs> yes, and it's a beautiful journey and I wouldn't change it for anything. And I know a lot of people that, especially sensitive souls that have had difficult um, childhoods or a difficult time with uh, illness. A lot of times we go, oh, I wish that didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've known now that um, if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be who I am today. And I'm really happy with who I am today. Yeah. So I really have a lot of gratitude uh, for that journey. Um, and a lot of sensitive souls do feel, you know, like they do have to help everything and everyone and they give of themselves, give, 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 give yep. until there's no more to give and then they get sick. So this is a really common pattern that I see, which is why I'm so passionate about helping sensitive souls harness their sensitivity as a superpower. Yeah, I love it. And I also love that you call yourself Doctor of Light Medicine because you are, you're just that, you're above and beyond, like seriously, you always play down your greatness. But, um, you know, the, everything that you've put together, the Tolpican healing method, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Sure. Sure. Yeah. You know, I am, um, I am a certified uh, emotion code, body code a practitioner and uh, was really enjoying that. And that was really helping a lot of my acupuncture patients. When I had an office, I would do that first and then we do acupuncture afterwards. And then um, I started getting weirder answers that weren't in the charts per se. Yeah. And they were going way off into woo woo land, like, you know, where, like aliens, dimensional things. And I really didn't understand what that was, but I kind of went with it. Um, generational things that were not in, in the charts. So I thought, okay, it's either my emotional body code or something else. And that something else kept growing more and yep. more and more. And then finally, I was like, you know, I need to write this down because I can't possibly remember 
all these other options. And so I started, you know, creating a chart and, and that kind of thing. And then one day I was having a little conversation with my angels in the car while my husband was driving. And I was just asking, so what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> you know? yeah. And it came to me that it was supposed to be healing modality, which of course I fought the angels on that. And then I said, no, 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 no. There's so many wonderful healing modalities out there that we don't need another one. You know, yeah. we got this one, this one, this one, this one, this one you know, right. And then yeah. what the impression they gave me was that, you know, uh, some people resonate more with some than others and some will resonate with your work and get the most out of your work. And it's also part of your soul expression. I thought, okay, you got me there. <laughs> Can't really argue with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're more soul level. So that's kind of how it was how it was born right. out of necessity. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. I just, you know, you are so empowering and working with such sensitive people because in this day and age with the quantum shift, with everything that's going on, the sensitivities are rising and rising. And I know as an empath myself, it's just, it's very hard to navigate life, right? With these, the, on the wave of life with the crashes and the, you know, getting dumped and, you know, dealing with the external environment. It is just so challenging at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I just find it very tricky sometimes. But uh, you've brought along a beautiful empowerment tip, actually, expert tip that everyone knows. Meditation supports feeling calm, but feel a few know that you don't have to be good at sitting meditation. If you can't sit still or force your mind to shut up, try stillness on the fly, where you meditate while you're moving. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Sure. Um, I used to feel bad about myself in healing class because as a very accomplished medical doctor and, you know, top 10 in my class, I couldn't understand why everybody else had a better time meditating than I did. I'd stick with yeah. it for all of maybe a day or two. And then I get frustrated because I wasn't good at it and I couldn't stand not being good at it. So I would just give up. And then it wasn't until Frank Kinslow's work, The Kinslow System, and the book, which is really thin and easy to read, called The Secrets of Instant Healing, that I said, oh, okay, instant, I like that. And mm -hmm. so I read it and uh, followed his technique, and I thought, oh, I just feeling energy in my body. That That's how I get there. Well, that's easy, right? And then I thought, well, I kept, you know, sharing people, well, well you know, read this book, read this book, read this book. And then one of my clients actually said, you know, I'm not really getting it. And I'm like, really? <laughs> So I just, you know, walked him through, you know, what I was doing and yeah. he goes, oh, is that all? I said, that is all. And now he's come to be this incredibly successful, you know, business person. He has a bigger email list than I do, you know, and he, he learned this technique from, from me and I thought, oh, you know, maybe I should call it something. <laughs> and then I realized I could do that any minute of any day. Like right now I'm talking to you and I'm very animated, but all I'm doing is tuning into my body and yeah. feeling the energy run. And I could feel it kind of go different places as I talk. It's really yeah. interesting. Yeah. And that's, and the results are the same, if not better, I find than traditional sitting meditation. But that being said, people who really resonate with sitting meditation yeah. do that too, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, because meditation is just basically turning yourself off from the outside world, like getting out of that noisy spot. And I, I know um, I find med um, walking very meditative, you know, mm, and right. things. So I really like this stillness on the fly in this busy 24 7 world, and you're crazy, crazy, crazy. You just need to reset your energy. That's what you, you know, it's just. Right. Yeah, and nobody. And yep. people don't have time to go, excuse me, while I pull the car, car over, right? <laughs> and I'm going to sit here for 20 minutes yeah. with my eyes closed and go, oh, um. like, it's just not practical. Um, yeah. And I know, uh, you know, some spiritual teachers absolutely say you have to do 20, 40 minutes a day. And and their students will wait, you know, put their alarm on at three o'clock in the morning to get up to meditate. And, and, and if it works for you, by all means, continue that because there's a lot of research on meditation. But what I find is I get better results just doing it whenever I think of it, even for three seconds, two seconds yeah. at a time. And uh, how do we know that it's working? Synchronicities, calmer, yeah. things go your way, things are yeah. more you know, yeah. easily solved and answers just pop into your head of what to do next. That's what I love about it. I, yeah, absolutely. And as, as I said, as we're going through this big shift, I find that we're more in tune so things can happen quicker. So I used to have to meditate or well, not have to, but some of my 
meditations would be an hour and a half. And now it can be so much shorter and condensed because I'm able to get into that zone, reset mm-hmm. myself a lot quicker. And um, yeah, as, as you know, today's about empowering sensitive souls and it is, you know, get into something on this method like the stillness on the fly where you can do it really quickly. So you put up a link there, stillnessonthefly.com, literally, and it, it leads through to some little uh, handy hints, is it, or tips and tools of how to do it? Ah. It's actually a, like a 30-minute uh, training oh, on how wow. to do it. There's also a downloadable um, audio where I walk you through it. It actually takes me longer to explain it than it does to actually do it. <laughs> it it just, you know, I call it three minutes to stillness, but um, it's less than three minutes actually. But it just kind of gives you the background, gives you some practices, gives you, gives you different levels of that. Like, for example, um, you know, one can one can sit still, of course, and tune in to the energy and the the vibration and the the movement inside the body. Uh, or you could do it with with your, with your eyes open. Or you could do it while you're doing something else. I call that being while doing. And uh, lately, I've been practicing when I watch shows on TV that are very like energetic or action packed. Yeah. Uh, and some of them maybe not the best vibrational shows. <laughs> but- <laughs> You know, but I action action packed, and then I'll go into my body and I'll feel what my body's feeling without judgment. What's happening as I'm watching this action packed show? So that's yeah. my current practice uh, doing that. And I got to tell you, I, I don't get as into whatever's going on as much. I'm, you know, it's less entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally resonate with that. Like I don't watch the news and I can't stand violence and I find I'm really sensitive now to, right. you know, extremes on, on like a Netflix show or something. And so I love that technique because I actually get rattled and sometimes if the kids are watching something, I have to walk away because it, it's just getting to me too much. So, yeah, thank yeah. you so much. So yeah, it's much. just feel feel the rattling in the body and it depersonalizes yeah. it in a way. It mean, doesn't depersonalize you, but, you know, yeah. it just makes it so that all all you're feeling is the energy and then the reaction is gone. At least that's what I find. Oh, that is so powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today I've brought along an empowerment share. When you're consciously aware that you're an empath, empower yourself by implementing healthy boundaries. Ask for help when you need it and say no when it doesn't align with you. Because I, it was only last year, I think I was reading Anita Muljani's book and realised okay. Oh, she's just amazing. And she had a little quiz. And I think out of 36, I got 34 out of 36 and realised I was a full-blown empowered empath. And then I started to understand myself. I realised why I was a people pleaser and and had become a doormat because I hadn't had the ability to say no when I it wasn't resonating with me and I was doing it anyway or also asking for help you know being strong and capable being able to do everything so as you know empowering sensitive souls is saying you know put up your little bit of armor and just feel into things if they align with you do it but when they don't because how many times I was doing things and then I was getting cross at myself so I was becoming resentful I was becoming overwhelmed so I don't know <laughs> yeah oh I did want to comment on something and mm-hmm. this may not be uh, that apparent but what happens is when we say yes Sally at least my personal experience is that yep. we tap into naturally their excitement about us saying yes oh right okay yes. so we get taken yeah. over by their yes and then we say yes and then later on we go what why the heck did I say yes <laughs> right so, yeah. so a tip yeah. would be take a moment before you say yes to go let me let me be by myself and and meditate on it or you know um get back to you tomorrow or something like that because oftentimes when you're in your own energy field and not feeling theirs because empaths do that right they feel other people's stuff then you can make a better more empowered decision it's 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 something that i've learned and and because i'm a very quick yes because i get so wrapped up in their joy about yeah. having me on their show or their whatever, yeah. whatever, yeah. that I yeah. say yes. And then later on go, wait, I can't fit this in my schedule. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know. I get that. Oh, thank you so much. That's so powerful because I had brought along a little tip too. And it's just about align your energy to be in your happy place, your center point where you're in alignment and flow and live your life from there. That's your baseline resonant field that we're all over. Mm. But it really is. I, I like to equate it to your personal radio station where you feel in your happy place where you, Everything just flows. Yep. You just get in there, turn the dial up, and people go, oh, my gosh, I like that station that you're playing. I'm tuning into that. And then yeah. it can go wrong. You know, that's what life's all about, hey? <laughs> Absolutely. And Stillness on the Fly is a methodology to basically resonate your own energy field, the great, you know, because you're tuning into your body. You can't help but do that. 
Yeah, absolutely. There we go. We've put it up on the screen again, stillnessonthefly.com. So, Karen, just as we're winding up, I'm just going to pull a little card today from the Bling Angel uh, card deck. We have eight different types of vibes of decks, and these gold-like cards are sort of I am empowering cards. So let's see which card we're pulling today to empower everyone. And the card today is I am whole. I am mm. whole. Absolutely. And that's just in line with that last tip. You just perfectly perfect as you are in you know warts and all feeling comfortable in your own skin because you are whole we're with the oneness we're with the unity we're part of the collectiveness oh what a beautiful card to end on well karen yeah. thank you so much for joining us today on finding your way i just i really admire you you're just so beautiful Aww. and bringing along all these beautiful tips and stillness on the fly what a gift for everyone so thank you thank you thank you <laughs> oh my pleasure always a pleasure sally thanks for all the wonderful work you're doing in the world too I'm so um, excited about your yoga pants. <laughs> I know, I know. Actually, before we go, I'm just going to quickly put them up on the screen. So I've just, they're actually made out of 100% recycled bottles because I tried the bamboo oh. and, um, oh, they didn't load up in my pictures. Oh, yes, they, yes, they did. So, um, yeah, because I'm all about sustainability as well. So I've got the shorts and I've also got the um long pants as well so we've got them with the flower of life design with the dna and the egyptian six elements oh they're slowly loading up here but it's hard to see in there but the pattern is divine so um when i get the the full lot from production which should be this week i'll send you out a pair and uh yeah very exciting so with that so it is it is and thank you so much for your support with that so i'm just going to say goodbye drop you down to the ground uh, green room i'll do a bit of a wrap up and thank you thank you thank you again stillness thank on the you. fire everyone reach out for that one <laughs> so how awesome is dr karen can so join me for another episode of finding your way with sally eslin next wednesday at 1 p.m pacific time 3 p.m central and thursday at 8 a.m australian eastern standard time so that's it from me today i'm just going to bring up our little video and uh, look forward to catching you all next week all righty here we learn more about my services and products at sallyeslin.com. Make sure to join me every week for a new episode on the SWE Media Network YouTube channel and wherever you listen to podcasts.